Hey guys, I know I already finished the vlog for today, but Facebook, I was ready to go to bed and and Facebook showed me this picture. I don't know if you can see it because I'm not looking at the camera, but basically it's Basically, it's a picture that I took from the plane two years ago. I was coming from... Oof, this is hard in common, I don't write it. Um, I was coming from a club, visiting a client in Adelaide. And I had a good flight, like I'm always scared of flying, but that flight wasn't particularly bad. But I remember getting out of the plane very scared as in with a feeling of something bad is about to happen or I'm feeling uneasy so that picture marks the beginning of the hardest thing that I have to overcome in life Woo. cut <laughs> I not do this on camera. I just want to tell my this story without ah oh. anyway <laughs> so as I was saying oh. that day was the beginning of the toughest year, year and a half of my life. Sorry, I was ready to go to bed, so that's why I don't have any makeup. My hair is all over the place. I was already in bed when Facebook said, Hey, do you want to remember this photo from two years ago? And I was like, no, Facebook, I don't want to remember that. Oh, maybe... Yes and no, like it's... I spent one hour writing like a full vlog in the memory to share and to say what I want to say now and then Facebook just, when I hit share, it completely omit the thing and it everything disappeared, so I don't want to write again, <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a video of it. I should put like, I should look a little bit good, better. It's not that I'm sad, it's just that remember that time of my life is sad, but anyway. So what's I saying, today, two years ago, I had my first panic attack and I have my first conscious anxiety attack and since then my anxiety started for those of you who know me you know how hard the anxiety has been it was crazy like so bad that I had to spend seven hours in a flight praying that I didn't die before getting to see my parents again in Colombia. <sighs> anyway, but this blog is not, this video is not about me crying and me telling what happened. If you want to know what happened, you can read my blog. I'm gonna leave the thingy below. You can read what happened in the vlog that I had about that. Although the end is not yet published. So it's three parts. Anyway, what I wanted to say and what and the reason why I got up and put the camera on and started recording is that it's been two years, but I can confidently and with the most joy of my life say that anxiety is a thing of the past 
and hold on with me here that doesn't mean that I'm completely cured and I don't have anxiety anymore no it doesn't because once you have anxiety and once you start suffering from anxiety attacks and panic attacks it's really hard for them to go completely away so I still find myself in the train or in the tram with my breath going crazy, my throat closing, my hands shaking, my thoughts going wild and thinking the worst scenarios possible. Yes, I find myself sometimes doing that. But two years after my first panic attack, I have learned to control my dark side. Yeah, so my smart and light and good side has learn to control the dark side and that makes me so happy it took a year and a half for me to to pass that dark tunnel because all oh then that's the that has been the hardest thing I have had to do in my life to the point that I, when I was in Colombia trying to get back on track in my life I found myself come on again so hard that I have found myself crawling and crying on my dad's lap I'm gonna cut all the crying so um, I found myself crying on my dad's lap, my dad's lap at 27 years old, saying, I don't want to go back to Australia because I did it. It was bad. This is not a sad vlog. <laughs> I just need to close this tab. Oh my God, Jesus. Stop, Mariana. Oh yeah, that's my real name, Mariana. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I, I just wanted to, you to understand how bad I was. <laughs> In a really bad shape. But the beauty and the good thing about this is that I'm just gonna make sure I'm taping oh yeah <laughs> but the good thing about this is that wait but the good thing about this is that I now can say that anxiety is, is something I can control and when I came back from, uh, from Colombia after having, after finally overcoming the fear of getting back into a plane, uh, there was a time when I didn't want to spend nights by myself. I was always afraid that the anxiety will come back and I will have another panic attack and that lasted a year maybe that I have always I always wanted to ask my boyfriend to stay over but the, the smart side of me always thought don't because that will mean that anxiety wins and anxiety cannot win you are more powerful than that you are stronger than that and I was yes there was there were nights where I have to call him and say hey can you please come over I cannot do this by myself especially days before flying and and today something really nice one of my colleagues at the office uh, we were having lunch and she said we, I don't know why we were talking about fears. Oh, wait, I'm gonna fix my French first because that looks like a little bit of, like, like, looks like bad. Wait for me. Hmm. Okay, 
so that's connected so today when I was having lunch with my colleagues I don't know why I said that I don't like I mentioned that I don't like flying and they asked me why didn't you ask you to the company to remove you from the account that it's in Adelaide why did you keep traveling and I said to them the same that I just said if I had asked my company to remove me from that account I will have become weaker and anxiety will have won and I cannot allow that I'm stronger than that and I knew it and that's why I keep flying to Adelaide when I don't I hate it but that's what you have to do like I cannot like come on I'm from Colombia like it's 37 hours flying like I, I can't I need to fly and it's the safest thing and it's a it's a an irrational fear and blah 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 yeah so I do it because oh and the good thing about that is that they said oh man you are really brave other will have just asked to be removed from the account and I don't consider myself brave it's just we are all stronger than we think we are and I'm just sharing this because I want you to know that if you have anxiety issues if you have panic attacks it, they are not gonna last like, I mean you are you can control it somehow it works different across different people but I wish I could go back to years and whisper to my younger me trust me the anxiety will go away eventually I remember that a colleague of mine when I started having panic attacks she said oh yeah I was I had panic attacks when I was younger and it lasted six months back then I was like what six months feeling this way seriously guys I was losing it like I, I couldn't go to train stations underground because I was afraid of the enclosure I was afraid of jumping in in front of the train although I, I like it's not that I had suicide thoughts but I was afraid of getting those thoughts I was afraid of being in a car I was afraid of sleeping by myself I was afraid of walking kind of thing like I was afraid of everything because I had this feeling in my chest that something very bad was, was about to happen not only me but my family my dad and my mom and because they are so far away and there's something that I cannot control I was losing it but here I am like happily ever after <laughs> like anxiety is still there and my point is if you are starting to suffer from anxiety or if you are suffering from anxiety for your entire life yes it's hard it will probably never will go completely away but not everything is dark and not all your life is gonna be like that you have to control to learn it you have to you yeah, get sorry you have to learn to control it you have to find that thing that makes it go away so in my case Zumba and these vlogs have completely evaporated the anxiety seriously yes I had a anxiety episode like two weeks ago but that's just it comes it's like a flu it will never go away yeah like yes some people get it some people have it long, lower defenses well anxiety is like that once you get it that means that you are you are a, like you are sensible to that sensible this is not gonna get much longer I just I just want to again say you can get to the other side like there is another side 
when I was in my darkest, <laughs> when the dark side took control of my mind, I, I thought that, that that would be my life forever. And I was so scared. And, and I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> I'm glad now I'm in the bright side. And yes, I have my dark moments, but that's, that's all right. And finally, um, to, to finish this tiny extra vlog for the day, I want to thank everyone in my life. <laughs> From those who were there, so my close family and my boyfriend's family and my friends here in Australia. For those who were there, and those who saw me in Colombia, thank you, because, oh, come on. <sighs> thank you, because without you, I wouldn't have reached the bright side, for sure. To my angels, of course, I have big angels in the sky that takes care of me, take care of me, I know. They are seeing me ooh, from above. But yeah, to all of you, to all my friends, my family, my boyfriend, my boyfriend's family, my office friends, my Colombian friends, my uni friends, I have a huge social life, which is not true. Anyway, for those, for all of you who have been there asking me how is he going, worry about me, thank you. Thank you so much for being there when I hit my lowest. This is not a depressing vlog. This is a good vlog that reminds or remembers bad things in the past that make me cry because I'm really sensible. But that's all right. Everything is finished. And it's time to seriously now go to bed. If you think that this is a message that someone needs to hear, don't be afraid, don't be shy, hit the share option. Because if I can help one soul that is suffering from what I suffered, then this is completely worth it. Thank you so much, guys. See you soon. <laughs>